How's it going everyone? It's Liam Caddison here and we're going to be on Season 1, Episode 3 for Orphan Black, which is Variation Under Nature. So, really, really getting into this. Um, I mean, the first one did impress me um, a bit and uh, the second one deepened my intrigue with this show. So... Things are looking really, really impressive. Of course, we've delved in a bit further with the mystery behind these doppelgangers and, you know, the different aliases, as well as the fact that um, Sarah under Beth had to, um, you know, try again with the whole uh, investigation thing that was surrounding Beth. And, hey, she succeeded this time. Fared well than the first time, of course. First time she spewed up. The second time she, after a little bit of, you know, practice... Yeah, it it just goes to, you know, the two sayings. If at first you don't succeed, try again, and practice makes perfect. So, them two just rolled into one bundle, and it paid off really, really well. Um, so, yes, uh, we, uh, at the final episode, of course, uh, final episode, we haven't reached there yet. <laughs> I'm time traveling now. But um, in the final part of the last episode, we got to see another doppelganger of Sarah. So Sarah's just going to have a crisis on infinite Sarah's at this point. So it's like, give the girl a break. Um, but uh, with all these doppelgangers coming up, I mean, you know, it does spark a bit of concern uh, health wise as well. Like, um, you know, Be like Beth's situation, like, could she have handled the whole, um, you know, could she have handled the whole doppelganger shenanigans? I mean, there's got to be variations of Sarah's out there that can't handle this doppelganger crisis. So it's like, um, but yes, episode three, I'm really, really invested to see what's going to happen and all that because it seems like uh, these doppelgangers have um, an idea on what's going on in this, in some capacity because uh i don't know they seem to have like connections with each other uh whereas sarah is none the wiser so maybe we're gonna well since another uh like there's more doppelgangers showing up then um i don't know warner brother attacks on <laughs> sorry i just had to warner brother attacks on reaction videos i had to go there but um, since more of them are cropping up um you know you've got to start asking questions so let's start asking those questions let's start Reacting to Alpha Black episode number three. Let's go. Waiting for someone. Well, this is a neighborhood watch block, so. Captain Vanilla. Uh, Captain Vanilla. <laughs> Bitch, the guards help. <laughs> or whatever. It, it's actually kind of cool. Um, as far oh shit, as... she's going after Felix. Super. Ah shit. And they have none the wiser. Is Only Sarah. Like uh, damn. Oh my god! Freeze! What are you doing in my yard? Don't! Do not shoot me, please! Why? <gasps> oh, shit. If you point a gun at my brother again, I will kick the living shite out of you. Would that constitute a stop hit hitting yourself? Damn. Look at that, brother and sister bond. I need to get my shit. You want answers? I want the briefcase. Seriously, it's life or death. It's not great to be fair, but it just got weird. And if you if you're not into weird, then you just walk out of that hell uh, at that hellhole. No, you're not, both of you. Oh, just gonna keep prodding him. Like, give me the money, give me the money, give me the money. Bad news. Give me the money. You reinstated. Oh. oh, here we go. This is what you. This is a, this God. is not a cop. I've got bad news for you. Buckle up, kid. Good. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Things now, are now going your to hell. Sausage maker. Ah, damn. Nice one to lend a hand, though. <laughs> really? Print. Really? You better hit, because uh, reconstructing the face is gonna be tough. Oh, well, she can breathe there. But... Hey. Unless it's not. Can we get the guy to uh, open this thing up. Uh, it's just a co uh, make a call. Just give me an hour or two to get up to speed, for Christ's sake. You can get up to speed on a desk, then. I'll work this with the Angelus. Ouch. Now get out of here. Hey, look, if you ask me about that money fair. one more time, Beth, I swear to God, it's going in the shredder. 
You would really put 75k in the shredder. You are either a moron or you are crazy. <laughs> so get to catch his fingerprint results somehow. I think that's our then only modify option. it or something so it doesn't register her. Red flags, oh right. god. Just answer me one thing. Anything, yes. If we're genetically identical, do you get that little patch of dry skin between your eyebrows? <laughs> Love it. That's good. Answer the question. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, you are. You so what you got again? La, 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 la. Am I speaking to your partner now too, Art? Actually, we love voice change apps, so, uh... Is this a person after Katia? She was just one of a few. Unfit for family. Horse glue. So you didn't like her very much. Ooh. How about you tell us her name? She expired at Allenside Park. What the fuck? So what, Stephen? Way, you will regain custody of Kira is to show me that you can be still. Ouch. You're not her legal guardian. Mine either anymore. You can visit any other approach and I will stop lying to social services for you. You wouldn't do that to Kira? No. I do to you. Ouch, there's a cold, there's a cold character. She's so desperate, like, I wonder if the clothes could, I don't know, hey, help out this out. in some capacity. Lay down in here. The whole Around here, shit. probably home experiments by wiping us out. Mm. Well, whatever it is. I to find the motive, maybe it's like a I need a, to protect my family, mistake. so Beth taught me how to shoot. For that, I am grateful to her. I'm sorry you lost her. Also explains why she's a bit, uh, she can be a bit bitter to her. But anything you can tell me about her will help. Beth, I fail to see how someone like you can fill Beth's shoes. There Truth we is, are. I barely there knew There we Beth. are. She was all business, but I admired her. She didn't pry, she was discreet. She didn't bring her foster brother to my house. I didn't know the rules of concept. What? <laughs> the fund was how I could contribute. How much? 75,000? You could rob me blind. Ow! Well, we're hoping you realize you can't run away from this. Shit. So, can you con her bank or not? Um, she already did. She... Good. Unless it's a different kind of... No, she already had that. Oh. Ooh, now there's a decision. Nice. You? Felix is gonna get. Get back. That's such a. Felix, don't go. Can Felix say the night, Mom? No. My work here is done. I'm afraid. No, <laughs> Felix is just right. like. Are the O's dragsters? <laughs> She's gonna punch him. Wow. I mean, seriously, where are we going with this? Oh God, and Felix is gonna have to witness this as well. <laughs> <laughs> They've got, they've got a topsy-turvy relationship. <laughs> Felix is gonna be like, wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Easy access. Mm-hmm. Seems like a seems like a great way to. Could it be though? Could it be the? I don't know. Ooh, what is that well, yeah. Breaking you, you little shit. There in my mother's, mother's womb. womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Bibles, dolls. This book's got some deep-seated spiritual problems. Shit! Here we go! Wait! Oh shit! You just shot! Go! No! No! I'm okay! Go! Go after him! Go! Shit! Did you just shot an ear? Shit! I was gonna shake her up a bit. She wasn't prepared for that. I mean, she could have the little gun thing, but 
Fight. Shit, who the? <laughs> who the fuck is this? Good riddance. It Good is it, child. I'm not bad. It's another clone. She's offering her own. Dirty little copycat. Who are you? God, who the f this this gal is sinister as shit. Oh shit. Oh Good shot! Ooh, what the fuck is going on? Corrupt corrupt Sarah shit! Yeah, you might want to take that just for DNA tracing or whatever. Lower square. Hey, you know. Got money back area. though. <laughs> Don't get too lucky, okay? You got your money. See you in the morning. She got the money though. I think she was pressing around for all this time. <laughs> like, Thank God. <laughs> but I want to know what's the deal with the killer clone. And if I rob Allison. Makes it even worse. Clones? Oh god, we do have to find another word for that. Don't tell them what, Sarah, what happened? Doppelgangers! Lookalikes! Doppelgangers seems awesome. This. Multiverse shit. Are really gonna go and just give the money back to the bitch face? Mr. <laughs> West gave me one visit. They kind of made her realise. Right. Wait, were those... scratching? They are... What the fuck? <sighs> this girl cray cray. So we uh, got quite another juicy episode on our hands, and thank the Lord Sarah finally got a 75k. Now that's gonna be it's gonna be very very interesting to see that progress. I think she's made the decision, you know to not run away with it um, and let the clones have a chance uh, with the money. I thought that was a really, really, really awesome scene though, like drop that bombshell and it may, and it makes Sarah kind of question every, I mean, yeah, she might not have known the clones for, you know, that long, but it, but it's still a version of her. Like, I, it's actually funny, she had this kind of debate where it was like, they're not me. They're just different people who just happen to look like me. But the, it, but the truth uh, behind the image is that they are replicas of her or whoever they're based off. I'm wondering if there's some kind like the person because it's implied. It I think it's implied that Sarah. If they're based off Sarah, like Sarah's one of them as well, like a clone. So, um, yeah, that's that's the important. Uh, implication that I'm getting, and I'm just thinking, you know, the r the real host, the host that they got them from, is like in some kind of tank where they can, you know, pull DNA and cre keep cr creating clones. That would be really, really horrific. But um, yeah, it was. It's it's just so interesting that we had this debate at the beginning where she's like, "Well, they're not really me," and then she's having that kind of. You know, like, even though she doesn't know them lot very much, she has that humanity to, you know, have, let them have a chance, especially, uh, let them have a chance, especially if they are getting off by that psycho blonde clone killer, that killer that, uh, that did off Katia, of course, um, the one, um, I mean, we, we saw, um, of course, her getting killed off at the end of episode one, and then it was revealed that it was her. So I'm wondering, is she killing off clones? Like, is she disgusted with who she is, and she's just killing off people who are her, or something like that? I don't know, but, uh, the, I mean, it all goes back to this different personality. You've got Alison, who's a bit of a hard-ass, uh, cause Seema is really, really nice, and, you know, is intellectual. you got, um... Bear, you got Bev, who was a cop. Uh, so you got someone who's a killer. 
someone who is the black sheep, I guess. Um, although I say black sheep, I sh the you know a dark version, should I say? Because I'm, if I'm saying black sheep, it's gonna sound like I don't. Well, maybe something did happen. Maybe the clones did shun her out. She was too dangerous, or something like that. And uh, you know, she decided to turn rogue. Maybe that could be the motive for why she's killing the clones. I don't know. But I think it might be something to do with the fact that she hates her own existence, or. Um, she despises the fact that there's multiple versions of her and she's just killing off clones or whatever. I mean, she, but then again, she did back off from, um, from, uh, Sarah, so, uh, but she obviously, I mean, she killed off Katya. She obviously had plans to kill off Beth until she kind of revealed. So I'm not so, I'm not sure if she wants to get kind of into, like, because Sarah's an anomaly, I guess, to the clones. Like, they didn't even know she existed. So, um, maybe Katia has to brush up on her homework uh, to find out who this person is before she can fully offer. Who knows? Um, can, did I say Katia? No, I meant the blonde head. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, my point stands, like, she needs to brush up on her homework before she can kill off, like, those who are her, so. It'll be very, very interesting to find, it, it, I don't know if she, if there's, I think they are setting, well, if she killed off Katya, and, um, she was eye, eyeing up Beth, and, uh, you know, she she looks a bit, you know, dangerous, with scratches on her back, and uh, she's a bit of a hard ass as well, pulling, the, you know, the pipe out of her. Um, yeah, if she's done that, um, then I guess she is, I guess, the main threat of season one. So that will be very, very interesting. A dark, ver whilst we're learning about the clones and, you know, we're getting to know one another and, you know, their struggles. We've got another struggle, which is another clone. But this, it's not the fact that we have to cope with, with another existence. It's the fact that you have to cope with a murderous clone. So... Um, yeah, it should be very, very interesting to delve into that. Um, to be fair, I think, I think, you know, if you're cloned multiple times, you, you want to have that story, actually, where you're facing a dark version. Like, if you have many clones, there's got to be that, you know, one version who you need to get rid of. There's that one person who is, you know, batshit crazy. And I think she fits the bill, so... Yeah, I think I think it's a perfect uh, way to set set up the uh, first, I guess, um, main baddie of Orphan Black. So, because uh, like I said, it's it's a you know you're exploring these different clones, and now you've got a bad one, a, a bad apple. So, um, but she is one tough son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> like I said, with those scratch marks and the fact that she pulled that out, I couldn't. I would be like, oh, uh, no, 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 I don't like that. Like pulling the pipe out, like, no, 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 no. Um, but yeah, it was just a really, really fun episode. I love how Felix is like this comic relief character, as well as a bit hot as well, but, you know, he, it's really, really fun to see, you know, um, Felix getting thrown into, you know, comic relief moments, I guess. Um, I, I think definitely in this episode, like, uh, I mean... There might not be heavy relevancy. I mean, he is involved, I guess, with the whole clone scenario. But you have those little moments where, you know, he's just screwing around. And, I don't know, he's he's he's, he's just adorable in, in more than one way. Um, especially the fact that he caught, you know, Paul and Sarah getting it on. And, he, and his reactions were just the best, but it was really, really great to see. Um, I'm loving the relationship between Sarah and Art as well. Like, um, I think they, I think, um, uh, I mean, of course, with her having to play Beth, it's, uh, very, very intriguing to see how Art, you know, perceives her as well. But, um, you know, Sarah trying to get to grips with things and, you know, having to ride on, um, Art's back, uh, and going successfully with this as well. Um, because you know she she's she, like she doesn't know what the hell she's getting herself into, and that proved even more evident when she was handed you know everything essential for her to be on duty, and it was like ah I've never handled this before like I've I've never been in this position before it's like ah um and it's and it's just really really great to see it I mean I have a feeling that art's going I mean the covers got like I said the covers gotta be unveiled at some point, but. Um, 
yeah, Art's going to find out one of these days. I'm wondering how their relationship will change after that. I mean, he seems like a pretty serious um, work of a guy. So I have a feeling it's not going to be too well once he finds out. But no, I, I really love what we're getting so far, uh, how he's completely oblivious. And uh, yeah, I thought his ear got shot off. Like, to be fair, like, the way they deafened the, um, so, but then again, that's, you know, you, you have a bullet, you know, screaming past your ear, it's not gonna be, I mean, I haven't experienced it, and I don't want to, but, you know, you have one of those moments, it's probably gonna be deafening for you, so, but I just thought the way he held his ear, and the way it sounded, like his ear got shot or something, uh, like, uh, Killer Blondie. Or killer, or clone with a K, should I say? Um, yeah, shot him deaf. So, yeah, uh, very, very mysterious um, stuff with that clone. But uh, we'll just find out more about her in the future. So, yeah, she set herself up to be a really, really um, intriguing character, to say the least. Uh, especially, uh, like, she's really dark and. Uh, from what we, from the glimpses we've seen from her, she look she's very dark with the areas she surrounds herself in, the scratches, you know, her motives. Well, we don't know her motives yet, but I'm assuming that you know, get rid of you know who you are. Like I hate the fact there's multiple versions of me. I'm assuming that's um, the motive, but there's probably something stronger in the works. But um, yeah, I, I'm just I, I'm just loving the you know connection between. Sarah and Art um, more and more. I think they've got a really, really interesting, you know, relationship. So I'm really enjoying that. But yeah, yeah this was a really, really great episode, um, especially with the fact that um, you know we, you know, we got to explore more of the uh, personalities as well um, of the clones. Like I said, Allison, you know, with that hard ass attitude, um, but she does have a bit of trust in. Um, Sarah, but once she finds out, because she's completely, I think she's completely unaware with, with the whole 75k thing that uh, Sarah did pull, so, um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be really, really interesting to see how she proceeds as well, um, I mean, probably Cosimo is probably going to defend her or something like that, because she seems like that kind, uh, kind soul, uh, Alison on the other hand is like way in the opposite spe uh, end of the spectrum. Um, like, she, ne she nearly had, like, uh, sh she got punched, plain and simple. Um, well, slapped, rather, but still, she got a, a great slap from uh, Sarah for nearly, you know, shooting Felix. For nearly shooting Felix, so... Uh, it, that was a really, really nice moment as well, like, to show how much Felix means to Sarah, so... Awesome stuff. But no, this was a really, really fun episode. We got some neat revelations as well as the fact uh, with the 75k and the clone with a K. But um, yeah, it was just a really, really fun episode. I'm just really enjoying this show at the minute. I'm not going to lie. This has really, really caught my attention. So I'm glad I'm seeing this because it's, I'm not going to lie, it's really, really good stuff at the minute. And uh, I'll be very, very interested to see. I mean, it's still early days and we've got five seasons to go through, but um, I mean, so far, it's leaving a really, really uh, neat taste in my mouth, so I'm really, really enjoying this so far. But yes, that was All From Black, episode three. Neat stuff. Can't wait to get into the future and learn about um, uh, uh, a lot of stuff, especially with the clones, so uh, the killer clone, so it's going to be really, really fun stuff. But yes, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You guys check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!